So what is up YouTube? It's me again and I'm back with another video. The reason why I'm filming this intro right now is because while I was doing this hair, I filmed the intro but it went away like that's the reason why I'm um I'm doing the intro right now and please my hair looks a mess right now because I've been walking around the house and yo my backyard how do you feel y'all about this backyard look at him he's like anywho please don't forget to subscribe and please don't forget your post notification thank you all so much let's get into this video I have this texture riser this is kind of like I would say it's like um relaxer but this is the natural one like it doesn't really perm your hair it doesn't really relax your hair it leaves your curls in and everything it just soften your hair so i'm just gonna use this first and i'm gonna show you how i mix this and then how i put it in my hair and then i'm gonna show you the next step neutralizing shampoo it's two of them it comes with a leave-in conditioner moisturizer uh, mix texturizer so this one I don't think I have to mix it it's already enough so it comes with two of these they actually have numbers this is one this is says two which is the shampoo um, the leave-in conditioner I think it's three yes and then um, the moisturizer is the last part to use so I'm gonna start with the number one of course my hair is already curly I can even show you like it's I, I don't have anything no product in my hair but that's how it is but it's really really tough like it's super tough so I'm, I'm just gonna like this is gonna help it to be like a little bit not too kinky like cuz my hair sucks really bad so I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the gloves from this and then I'm definitely just gonna follow the directions from this knot here. So number one, actually they don't have no gloves in this thing, which is weird because they normally have gloves, but they don't have no gloves. So here they're telling me um, I have to use uh, so what they're saying is I don't have to mix anything it's just you just follow the minutes they tell you on this paper the first one they said I have to leave it in like for two to three minutes only so I cannot go too far from three minutes I gotta get my phone to put my timer on I'll be right back like this on my hair the first one which is the texture the, the texturizer cream and my hair is really short so basically what I'm doing is just going around my hair no I'm not like going too crazy with it but I'm just like grabbing enough in my hands and then go like just a little bit around the hair because I have to come through so after I put this all in my head and I'm just gonna grab a white tooth comb and comb the hair through I have one right here and it's pretty wide so basically what they say just comb through so that the product goes under and stays I don't know if you can tell how hard my hair is, like... <coughs> Damn, my hair is growing. I'm just gonna set my phone in three minutes. And rinse it out. I just washed my hair with the first one. This is how the hair looks like. Uh, it, it definitely says I have to go, like, I have to go straight in with the shampoo. And after that, I have to go straight in with the leave-in conditioner and leave the leave-in conditioner for three minutes. That's what I'm going to do at the same time because I can stand here wet like this. <sighs> uh, moisturizer. 
the cream is the styling one and which I'm not gonna use this one because I have to bleach my hair and color my hair so I just put the leave-in conditioner in my hair and I'm gonna let it sit for three minutes and wash it out and then next step we're gonna go to the bleaching part which I'm gonna show you the bleach that I use the formula that, that I use and then the color that I'm gonna be doing to my hair today so my hair is washed after the moisturizer now i'm just gonna blow dry it and then actually you you shouldn't blow dry your hair i feel like sitting there to wait for my hair to dry i'm just gonna uh, i'm just gonna bleach the underneath so with the bleaching i'm just gonna be like kind of separating my hair and bleach just the black parts i'm gonna show you um closer when i'm like from here to here because my camera misbehave a lot of the times My hair is blow dried, really, really cool, nice and fluffy. So, uh, for my bleach that I use, I use the Cara Professionals. I don't know if they call it W2, BW2, whatever they call it, but that's the one I use. And level 20, because my hair is short, I don't want it to be like, you know, with short hair, you gotta be careful when you're coloring your hair. And anyway, I don't have a ball, so I'm gonna use this huge ball to mix my gloves with anything any product that's about hair always get your gloves I'm gonna show you a little bit of how I bleach my hair when it's already bleached a little bit and then I'm definitely gonna go ahead and go finish it off camera <laughs> but after showing you though oh my god this dog I don't know if you can see how I'm separating my hair with my own hands because if I use a comb sometimes I can't feel the hair and I put it in the wrong place so I just I just prefer using my hand <laughs> using my hand all right y'all I just wanted to show you how I do it and then when I get to the back it's the same thing that I've been doing separate it with my hands that's how I do it. I'm just going to go ahead and finish it real quick so I can get out of here. But I've shown you though how I do it. So I just finished putting the bleach in my hair. I'm just going to let it sit and cook and then I'm going to be right back to show you the color that I'm using. I just bleached my hair and I definitely left that in there for 15 minutes and you can tell the hair is bleached and really really good um the underneath of course it's not the blonde 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 it's kind of yellowish but it's okay it's okay because i don't want to leave it in too much since i've uh, used a lot of products remember that when you if you want to use a lot of products like um the texturizer if you want to use the texturizer and you know you want to do bleach your hair the same day you do not leave the bleach in your hair for longer than 15 minutes never do that so i'm just gonna wash my hair and then i'm gonna be right back so i just washed my hair and now i'm gonna show you the color that i'm gonna be using i think it's called adore adore and this actually is uh, semi permanent it's not like permanent permanent but it's semi permanent so in case I want to change it, I can just wash my hair like five times using shampoo and it will be all out so I can use a different one if I want to. Got my um, glove. I don't really like just open it and do this. And then put it all throughout my hair. Yep. Damn, this color is so pretty. If you have long hair you do not do this you will need definitely a comb a brush a I'm just gonna put this all over my head and I'm gonna leave it in for like 35 minutes and then I'm gonna wash it out and then I'm gonna be coming back when my hair is washed up after being 
30 minutes and now I'm gonna just wash this color out of style the hair first and then I'm gonna go do my makeup then I'll show you the finish the results I dolled my face up and how do you feel this makeup yo I think it's so pretty and cute but anywho this is how but anywho this is how my hair turned out like curly but simple i did some baby hairs a little bit it's still not dry it's still wet somewhere around here you know it's it's, it's being too much but it's gonna dry and we're gonna get there but yo if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe i'm so fun i think so i think i'm fine hmm. am i that fun and got out this necklace my babe got it for me from italy and this is actually here it's from uh it came from the volcano like damn, damn. <laughs> so that's how my hair turned out 